Welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So today we have a beer from Omnipolo and Buxton. It is their Yellow Belly Imperial Stout, brewed with aromas of peanut and biscuit. Alcohol is 11%. So by this point, everyone knows what Yellow Belly is. We don't need too much explanation. It has very distinct branding. And this one, I don't know if you can quite make it out there. But this is the last batch in this form because there was a whole cease and desist thing, whether it was substantiated or a marketing ploy, I'll leave that up to you. It's not about that on this channel. It's just about the beer inside. And as this is the last version of this beer, yeah, they're gonna re-release it in other forms. Um, I thought I'd get it on the channel. I've had it a number of times, but as it is, where is it? Where's that little sucker? As it's this version. I was actually say, cease and desisted final batch. It has this hood on, and it has a bit of a message to go with it, which I will read out and speed up, just to not bore you, or you can skip over this bit. So Yellow Belly, a person who is without courage, fortitude or nerve, a coward. To us, one of the most cowardly deeds is to act anonymously, hiding behind a group, a seems fine trait of institutionalised racism. This beer is brewed to celebrate all things new, open-minded and progressive. A peanut butter biscuit stout with no biscuits, butter or nuts. Taste, enjoy and don't be prejudiced. prejudiced. And as all the people involved in the original brew even to this day. People that don't even work at Bucks anymore and I don't have a bottle open. Less waffle about racism. In this day and age, it still blights our world. But with beer, maybe we can change that, huh? Maybe, just maybe. So the beer itself is not quite jet black, pretty damn dark with a nice mocha colored head on the top there. Let's give it a little swirl and a sniff. Oh man, I mean, it is crazy. Get sweet milk chocolate, digestive biscuit. God, it just smells so sweet. And it's peanut butter, but it's that, the filling of a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's that peanut butter that's like been mixed with confection and sugar. I was getting like a hint of strawberry as well. I think, I mean, Omnipolo's known for using sort of ice cream flavorings. That's why it's a, it's a peanut butter and biscuit stout that has no peanut butter or biscuit in it. It's, it's sort of, it's ice cream flavorings. And there's something Neapolitan-esque, it's like vanilla, chocolate and strawberry mixed into one with the overriding peanut butter flavour. Almost got like a tinge of something alcoholic then, but it's not, it's not like whiskey or anything like that. To me what it actually reminds me of is if you've ever had a little hot chocolate and you put a little bit of Baileys in there, oh yeah. Classy, a class move. But that smells just so crazy and damn good, let's go for a taste. Uh, cheers! From the aroma, you think it's going to be cloyingly sweet. And for me, what, what actually happens is you take a sip and you're instantly attacked by sweetness. Almost overwhelmingly so. It, it, is, it is Reese's peanut butter cups. It's chocolate digestives. But then it's actually quite a pronounced roasty bitterness. Followed, yeah, by you, you are tasting this 11% beer, even though it's that initial ta attack of sweetness. It doesn't mask the ABV. It's not the thickest, it's not the gloopiest Imperial Stout, if that's your bag. But it's, I mean, it captured people's imaginations with the packaging, and then for me, the beer, the beer does deliver, and it still delivers, because for me, this is one of those crazy stouts that sort of got me into thinking about beer differently. I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of this beer. In fact, didn't they already stick it in cans and called it something else? Like a little while after. And if you want to learn about the whole cease and desist thing, it's all on the internet for, for you to find and for you to see. All I care about is the fact this beer is damn good. So 
that, that was everything from Buxton and Omnipolos. Yellow Belly. Damn good beer. I think you can still find bottles of this knocking about. So I urge you to pick one up. But up and Jake, remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment about this beer, please, if you've had it. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.